And welcome to the screening room. I'm Russ Simmons. And I'm Sean Edwards. Once again, I'm Sean Edwards. I know I haven't been here for a while, but I'm back. He is but back. We got to give it up for Matt, man. That was a great Mr. Rogers audition. Yeah. <laughs> he nailed that, man. Come on, that was five out of five right there. But let's talk about new movies. Okay. Uh, and this, this segment's sponsored by the letter R, because everything is rated R. R-rated. Nothing for kids, but they're back in school, so they don't need to go to the movies. And this segment's already over time, because I'm uh -huh. back, but light it up, Russ. <laughs> Well, if Men in Black had been about vampires instead of aliens, it may have looked a lot like the tongue-in-cheek horror movie Day Shift. That's a great analogy. Jamie Foxx plays a rogue vampire hunter in suburban L.A., he tries to get back in the vampire hunter's union, but has trouble with his new union steward, played by Dave Franco. Well, here's the deal, Russ. The Jamie Foxx and Dave Franco team up in this horror comedy works. Now, Jamie Foxx, who has set his Oscar-winning pedigree aside for a while now, leans on what made him a star early in his career. He's all jokes and personalities as he carries every second of this movie as a vampire hunter who, as you said, has been assigned to the day shift. Not the night shift, but the day shift. Yeah, Sean, this excessively bloody action comedy was directed by a stuntman, and it shows. It does. The stunt work is extravagant, it's it skillfully realized, but the rest of the movie seems pretty derivative. Day Shift has just enough bite, maybe, for action fans. Yeah, Russ, it's predictable but fun. Scary, no. Over the top, yes. And it's also punctuated by Snoop Dogg, who excels with basically an extended cameo. <laughs> I liked him. The, yeah, the energy's high, the fun is plenty, and the soundtrack's banging. Uh, think Lost Boys meets uh, Tales in the Hood, Tales from the Hood. I forgot, yeah. That movie's off. I forgot the actual title. Three but popcorn bags for me on that You get one. the point. I, I agree. Three popcorn bags for Day Shift. And speaking of horror comedies, there's Bodies, 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 a decadent Gen Z slasher movie with a nasty slide edge. Amadla Stenberg, Maria Bakalova, and Pete Davidson lead a strong Pete cast. Pete Davidson! Yeah, he's in the story about idle rich kids who play a murder game that goes completely off the rails and when these spoiled brats start criticizing one another, things get cutthroat. Literally. Uh, this pitch black comedy is uh, a little too gimmicky but it, it works more often than it does. Okay, watch what I do with this one. You yeah. gotta pay close attention. Okay. Right, check this out now. The premise isn't new and the setup collapses under the weight of its cleverness. Uh, this dark, comedic comedy attempts to satirize today's gadget-dependent group of very attractive and young and totally cool social media-addicted young adults who begin acting very 2022 when the mayhem starts. Uh, but Russ, everyone is self-centered and faux important. Uh, mm -hmm. I didn't really care about any of them. This should have been more fun watching as these vapid, rich, privileged, backstabbing group of friends get it. Yeah. It was just annoying, much like a Kim Kardashian relationship news. Now you got it. Boom! I'll Come give it on! Three popcorn bags. Come on! Where's Dave Chappelle at? Two popcorn bags. Come on! Pete Davis is in it. I hear it was you. annoying like Kardashian relationship yeah. news. Well, here's something I think we can agree on. A fierce and focused performance from Aubrey Plaza is the main attraction of the drama Emily the Criminal. Plaza plays a, a desperate young woman drowning in student debt who dabbles in credit card fraud. And she gets way in over her head with some intimidating gangsters, you know. Sean, this is realistic. It's intense. Uh, Emily the Criminal is an unsettling movie that serves as both a social commentary and a cautionary tale. Hey, I'm going to do this since we're running over time. Russ is absolutely correct. Audrey Plaza is amazing. This is one of the best performances and best movies of the year. How many popcorn bags? Four popcorn bags for me. I'm, I'm going to agree. Four popcorn bags. And that's it this weekend. Everything's rated R. Nothing for the kids. And Bodies, Bodies, Bodies is annoying like Kardashian <laughs> relationship news, which also stars Pete Davidson. That's it for this week, guys. That's it. That's it for this week. Right. That's what yep. a vacation will do for I you. Know, I am you know energized. What? I'm telling you, you've been saving it up, <laughs> I'm man. Been saving it up, man. I can feel it. <laughs> yeah, that was a, well, that was some that was that's a kids watching. That's what you call great writing. That's right. <laughs> Boy. And kids stay with Disney Plus. Don't go to the movies this weekend. <laughs> Not this weekend. Not this weekend. Uh, <laughs> Sean, welcome back.